What's up, people? Welcome to Ready Views, where I, Raiden, rain upon video games and anime within Animal Kai until the sun sets. Today, I'll be doing something different from my traditional reviews. Since 2015 is coming to end, I feel like I should mention my top 5 favorite anime series of this year, since I most likely won't have a chance to go back and do full reviews of these series. I do want to mention the anime titles that are on my 2015 list do not have to be shows that actually came out this year. The anime on my list simply have to be titles I have watched and completed in 2015. And just to let you know, 2015 was kind of a bad year for me when it came to anime, because I didn't see much anime this year, and a few that I did see were not even close to being my favorite. Who knows, maybe I'll do a worse anime 2015 video, but that's for another day. If you're curious what are my top 5 favorite video games of 2015 are, you can find a link to that video on the screen right now and at the end of this video, so check that out if you're interested. And with all that important information out of the way, let's get this countdown started. Coming in at number 5 is Death Parade. Death Parade's first episode is really powerful and got me interested in its story immediately. It is hard to talk about that anime without giving out some minor spoilers, so if you want to be 100% spoiler free from this anime, then feel free to skip ahead and be sure to add Death Parade to your must watch list. Death Parade takes place in a purgatory like bar where humans who have died are judged to either go to heaven or hell. The judge is not an old Norn god, but a bartender named Deckham. Deckham decides people's fates by having them play a game at random, like darts or bowling. During these twisted games, the dead slowly reveal their true self, and Deckham judges their actions accordingly. The show is very episodic in the beginning, with new visitors coming to the bar. However, halfway through the series, the show focuses more on Deckham and the other workers of the afterlife. I enjoyed the show for two reasons. One, I'm a fan to see what people do when they are trapped in a corner and are forced to reveal their true colors, kind of like Death Note. And second, Death Parade made me reflect on my own life and made me think about how I wanted to be remembered after I'm gone. I will say the show gets kind of lost in the middle of the series, but the ending does somewhat make up for the anime shortcomings. Death Parade got me to think about some deep stuff, which is why I give it a high recommendation to check it out. Coming in at number 4 is Your Lie in April. Your Lie in April is about Kosei Arma, a once gifted pianist who lost his ability to play the piano after losing his mother. However, Arma returns to the music world during middle school after being inspired by the free-spirited violinist Kaori Miyazono. These two lovebirds thrive off each other, which is a great deal of fun to watch. The best aspect of this anime to me is its love for classical music. The works of Beethoven, Chopin, and Mozart ring out throughout the series. Some of the animation sequences involving some of the music performances were spectacular. This show is easily one of the best looking anime titles on my list. My only concerns with the show is its supporting cast and its romantic anime cliches, which is why it's not placed higher on my list. If you're looking for a show about how the power music can affect people's lives, then look no further than Your Lie in April. There is a good reason why so many anime fans out there love this show, and you should jump on board the hype train that is Your Lie in April. If you're still on the fence about this anime, then you can watch my full review of this series by clicking on the annotation on the screen right now, and it'll take you directly there. Okay, with that shameless plug in out of the way, let's move on to number 3. Coming in at number 3 is Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches. Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches is about a delinquent high schooler named Ryu Yamada. Yamada has always been a bit of a loner until he literally bumps into female honor student Shiraishi Yurara. These two accidentally kiss each other and find out they can switch bodies thanks to the power of kissing. It turns out there's much more supernatural stuff happening at the high school, but I won't go beyond that because of spoilers. I think some people might have missed this anime because of its somewhat generic premise and its harem flavors, which I understand, but I think those people are missing out on a good show. I like Yamada and Yura as characters, and they add more depth than many of the other characters in this genre of anime. I laughed at the show's humor regarding people's thoughts of the opposite sex, and I like the show's super anime hairstyles and bright colors. I know some people might be surprised to see this anime here on my list, but what can I say? It was a guilty pleasure for me, and I suggest you give this anime a try. If you still need more convincing, you can watch my full review of Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches by clicking on the annotation on the screen right now, because this little excerpt doesn't do this show justice. And with yet another shameless plug in out of the way, let's move on to my penultimate anime of 2015. Coming in at number 2 is Hajime no Ippo, also known as the Fighting Spirit in the US. Hajime no Ippo is a boxing anime about a high schooler named Ippo Makanochi. Ippo doesn't have many friends because he's too busy helping out his mom with the family business ever since his father died. Because it wouldn't be anime unless one parent is either dead or is working overseas. Ippo gets constantly harassed by bullies at school, and one day these bullies give Ippo a beating until a boxer named Mamaru Takamura steps in to save him. Ippo becomes inspired by Takamura and decides to take up boxing. Sure enough, Ippo is a natural at the sport and soon becomes a real contender in the ring. Yes, this is basically a Japanese Rocky TV show series, but Hajime no Ippo is much more than that. Viewers get to see the transformation of Ippo as a nobody to one of the greatest fighters of his generation. And Ippo's such a great character to root for too because he's such a nice guy even to his rivals who want to beat the crap out of him. I usually tend to stay away from anime sport titles because they are long and can get repetitive after a while. But this anime always kept me entertained and always got me excited during each boxing match. If you're looking for a great shonen sports anime, then Hajime no Ippo should satisfy your cravings nicely. 
Coming in at number one is Psycho Pass Season 1. The reason why I specify Season 1 is because I haven't seen Season 2 yet, and I don't want to recommend something I haven't seen yet. Psycho Pass is a sci-fi tale from the mind of Gen Urobuchi, the guy who created Fate Zero and Madoka. Psycho Pass takes place in a future where criminals are no longer judged by trial and jury, but by a computer system known as the Sybil System. The Sybil System reads a person's mental state and determines the probability a person has to commit a future crime. Kind of like Minority Report if you remember that movie. These readings are known as a person's psychopath. If a person's psychopath is too high, they are flagged as a criminal and are apprehended or sentenced to death if their psychopath is at a point of no return. The protagonist here is Akane Tsutniyamori, who is a new inspector of the police force known as the Public Safety Bureau's Criminal Investigation Division. The Bureau's job is to hunt down criminals using their futuristic handguns and enforcers. Each enforcer is considered a latent criminal since they were once labeled a criminal by the civil system, but they got a second chance at life if they agreed to hunt down other criminals. Akane works with several enforcers on her first day on the job, including Shinya Kogami. Kogami was once investigated himself until he got too involved with his police work and got labeled a criminal. Sure enough, a string of criminal events lead Akane and her team down a dark path that could destroy the world as they know it. Wow, that was a lot of explanation, and I barely even touched the surface of this anime. The characters in Psycho Pass are great, everyone adds something to show, and plays a vital role in the show's story. The animation here is amazing, and production IG depicts an amazing dystopic future. And the music here matches the tone of the show perfectly. Psycho Pass is a fantastic anime, and it could possibly be my favorite sci-fi anime of all time. So yeah, you should check it out. So there you have it, people. Those are my top 5 anime series I watched in 2015. I'm sure there are plenty of other anime titles I failed to mention, so please let me know what your favorite anime shows of 2015 are by leaving your list in the comments below. Well that about concludes my video for today. If you want to keep updated with all my video reviews, please be sure to subscribe to my channel Wave Reviews, where I plan on having many more reviews of video games and anime. If you're into social media and you want to hear my thoughts about the latest geek news, you can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and find me on Instagram. I will provide links to all these social medias in the description below. I look forward to all our nerdy discussions. Thanks for watching, I was Raiden, I'll see you guys again when the sun rises out.